the Transformers more than meets the eye. All right, guys, I'm John, the host of the Super Awesome Geek Show, and today we have Sunstreaker. This is one of the guys that my brother had when we were kids. He, he had all the Lamborghinis. I did not, but always, always liked him. Actually, he had all the race cars because I think he had Mirage as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. He got all the race cars and I got all the trucks and things like Ironhide and those guys and, and Hound and stuff like that. Hmm. <laughs> but anyways, now I have a sudden streaker and my brother doesn't. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to unbox this thing for you and... We'll transform him and show you everything except his combiner mode because we will do the combiner mode for Sunstreaker when we finally find Prowl and we're able to build Optimus Maximus, the Ultra Prime, right? The Super Combiner Dude. Super Combiner Dude! So here's the front of his packaging. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you him in the box there. Sunstreaker, ages 8 plus from Hasbro, combines to form, and the arrows point you around to show you Optimus Maximus. There is also Combiner Wars comic book included from IDW, Hasbro exclusive cover, Transformers Generations, Transformers. Flip you around to the back of the box here. Shows a nice picture of uh, Sunstreaker, becomes an arm or a leg. In this case, he is an arm of Optimus Maximus, which he combines to form. He's number one of the set. Again, I still need to find Prowl before I can do that. I have the white Optimus Prime. I might just show you him when we do the uh, combined mode and all that. It says it takes 12 steps to turn him into the car. So this one's a little bit more complicated than Mirage. Let's get in on that text up there, and I will show you what that says. Sunstreaker! A combiner robot needs contributions from every bop that forms it, and Optimus Maximus is no different. Optimus Prime can bring the courage. Prowl can provide the strategy. Sunstreaker? Question mark. Well, he makes this combiner look good. <laughs> that fits his personality great if you remember him from the cartoons and the comics. Pretty awesome. So what I like to do with my Transformers is just slide them right out. My bubble has a little bit of a dent in it, but that's all right. He was the only one in the store when I got there, so but I just like to slide them right out from the side. Just put a little slit in the packaging there and he slides right out. So you can keep him pretty nice shape. He's got ties that keep him in. The weapons though, I think we can slide right out. And his hand piece can just slide right out. Ugh. But the figure itself, we've got to pop all these. So um, I'm going to pop them and be right back. Okay guys, there's Sunstreaker out of his packaging. He forms a hand, so we've got the hand right there. I'll just keep that out of the way. He also has a gun blade. Shotgun with a sword blade on it. So it can go in his hand that way or that way. Pretty cool. Let's uh, give you guys some 360s of this guy, all right? I think Sunstreaker is a pretty cool bot. I love his head. The front detailing is pretty good. Spin him around here. For you. Yep. He's got all this mess on his back. Really looks like a car from the back. I, it's okay. I mean, you're only going to really see him from the front, right? I mean, it's got to go somewhere. Pretty cool. He's got good R, uh, elbow movement. I mean, it goes all the way up. 
His arm can swivel in any direction. He doesn't have any... He's got this pivot here, so I guess you could pivot him at his elbow. So there's that. He's got leg pivot and knee bend. A little bit of maneuverability in the feet just because of the way he transforms. So you can kind of do some kind of sort of dynamic poses with him. That's pretty cool, right? It's kind of like a samurai, right? Pretty awesome. He's a pretty cool figure. All right, let's get to transforming him. So we don't need his weapon right now. Boink. Get that off. He's uh, There's only one complicated part to his transformation, and I think that's in his legs. So I'll try to do this in a way that you can see what's going on. You can fold the arms right up, because that's where we're going to end up having to have them anyways. And then they've got to come out from this socket. You'll see these parts here. We want to move those out away from his body a little bit so they go down. See that? Move that out away from his body a little bit. There we go. And then his head, you can spin it around. This piece just comes right up. And then the front of the car it kind of folds in on itself and becomes the front end of the car. You kind of see it there starting to form. And now I move on to the legs. So the legs have a double hinge joint. You can see this it pops out right there. See that? And then what you want to do is fold it in on itself so it comes together kind of like that. Hope you saw that. So again, there's the hinge inside there. Push it down, fold it in on itself, and there's a whole bunch of clips that you need to pop all together to get this guy together. And you can fold the, the wing up, the feet fold down, and that forms the back of the car once you get it all clipped together. And then the arms come in, and again, if you can see it, there's a clip right there. and you want to pop the arms into that clip. There'll be a gap in the arm and that has to go, whoops, it has to slide over that clip. There you go. Same thing on the other side. The arm stretches all the way back to clip. Ugh. So that's kind of a little bit difficult too right there, but and then the bottom just comes down. There's a peg right there that goes into the hole and you just kind of work it in and then the top of the car can come down. Just give it a nice good snug press and you have the vehicle mode. Pretty cool. Give you some good looks at that car. All right. Hope you liked that one. That was a quick and dirty transformation. If you want to, you can uh, put the weapon on there somehow. Bink. I don't know. It doesn't look right. Bink, is it a cannon? Doesn't look right to me. I don't like it. You can put this on there if you want to. I don't like it either. <laughs> I only like it like that. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching another super awesome Geek Show unboxing and transformation and review. I think this guy's really cool. Highly recommend getting him. Can't wait to have Prowl so I can put together Optimus Maximus.
Again, thanks a lot for watching another Super Awesome Geek Show video. I'm John, your host of the Super Awesome Geek Show podcast. Find us at superawesomegeekshow.com. Go right to the, uh, you can go right to iTunes. Just look for us right there. Please subscribe. Please comment. And hope you enjoyed this short, quick video of Sunstreaker transformation unboxing and review. Subscribe, retweet, you know, help in any way you can. Share it. We really, really appreciate it. I'm a big believer in all for one, one for all. There's room at the top for all of us. And if we all help each other, we can all achieve greatness, achieve our goals. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Transformers more than meets the eye. Autobots raise their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Transformers. Robots in disguise. <laughs> Yeah, it rolls really nice, some all wheels. <sighs> Alright, keep it geeky out there everyone. See ya!